Steve Frank, and welcome to Peaceful Mountain. This is where it all began, right in the Rocky Mountains. This is a great place to grow herbs, and this is where a lot of the herbs for our products come from today. It's a wonderful place to get wild-crafted, homegrown herbs of wonderful quality. I'd like to show you some of the herbs that are in bloom here right now. It's July, and they're just beautiful. This first one over here is horse mint, and I, that's one of my favorites. I, there's just nothing prettier than this horse mint when it comes up. You can tell it's a mint because it's got a square stem and pairs of opposed leaves. If you take one of the leaves and rub it a little bit and smell it, oh, that smells very minty. But you can also tell why they don't make a tea out of it because it has a very uh, bitter aftertaste. I see some wormwood sage over here. This is really nice. Now this is wormwood sage. This is really wonderful. Folks used to use this a lot uh, when they were processing sausages. They put it in sausages. It's also very good for uh, if you have uh, intestinal parasites or worms. Uh, if you rub that and smell it, Ah, it's got a wonderful, wonderful sage smell to it. I spotted a different kind of sage. Let's take a look at that. Now this is some beautiful sage. It's nice and ripe. That's a perfect consistency right there. See that? Oh, that's just what you want. Now, we use that in our leg relaxer product. And I come up here to pick it for you because this is the best sage you can get. You can't, you can't buy herbs like that. You've got to pick them. And right here on Peaceful Mountain is the best place to do that. So I'm pretty proud to be able to pick beautiful sage like this and put it in our products. This is beautiful. Look at this. Sticky purple geranium. Beautiful leaves. This is great. Actually... The leaves of the sticky purple geranium, ouch, get down and get these down in here. Those uh, contain a very nice uh, antihistamine. They like to be in the shade of these ponderosa trees. They're really big here. And they usually like to be on the western facing slopes. Uh, actually, the eastern facing the slopes, excuse me. This is beautiful. This is wild rose bush, ouch, <laughs> and a big one. <laughs> You can see it bloomed earlier this year, and there's lots of blooms. But right behind the blooms are the rose hips. And the rose hips here, when they get nice and brown in about a month or so, are a really good source of vitamin C. You could just grind them up and throw them in your tea. And uh, they're very sweet, and uh, here's some, some roses. It's a beautiful bush. Look at the size of that. And look what we got over here. We got some more mature uh, wild roses. And you can see these rose hips are starting to turn red a little bit here. These are getting pretty good. Great source of vitamin C. Those are beautiful in tea. Just wonderful. Look at this. Well, this is a perfect example. Look at all this yarrow. This is absolutely beautiful yarrow here. Uh, it's, it's in bloom. If you if you crush, mm, if you crush some of the flowers and smell them, you can tell it smells kind of like Bactine. There's a natural antibiotic agent in these. Very nice, very nice. And the leaves, the leaves they used to call nosebleed, because uh, interestingly enough, if you got a nosebleed and you stick one of those up your nose, it'll stop it from bleeding it uh, actually causes the blood vessels, the microcapillary bed, to constrict a little bit and so it, it stops your nose from bleeding. And that's what makes it particularly good as a treatment for allergies and hist histamine and antihistamine because uh, it uh, keeps your nose from getting real stuffed up. It'll get all that that inflamed tissue to settle down. Yarrow. See I come up here to get yarrow for our congestion relief and our sinus support. This is the time of year when I'll come up and collect these leaves. Oh, look at that. These are great. We'll just take a couple from each plant, 
so we don't hurt plants. There's no place that you can buy herbs this fresh and this beautiful online. Uh, this is something that you got to come out and pick on your own. And the best place to do that is right up here on Peaceful Mountain. We get a great crop, nice high altitude, good sun exposure, and this stuff is fresh. It's just wonderful. Why would you ever want to go into a pharmacy again with all this natural healing herbs out here? This is Kinnick Kinnick, uh, bear berry. You can see one of the little berries there. They'll turn red when they're ripe. I don't see uh, any ripe ones around here. That's pretty good if you get a bladder infection. See that there? Now, Arnica is used for a lot of things. It's a good analgesic, pain reliever. It's very good for dissolving the microclots that happen when you get soft tissue trauma so that you get rid of that bruising more quickly and, and you can have a lot more blood flow to the region to help it heal. Uh, it's called Arnica Montana, interestingly enough. That means lambskin of the mountains because the leaves, if you feel them, are just as soft as can be. There's some more Arnica Montana growing there. It's got a few more weeks to go before we can use that. That's milk thistle, Canadian thistle. That's what they use for liver cleanse. If you've ever taken a liver cleanse, it's really very good. It's uh, protects your hepatocytes. If you're getting a lot of toxins or doing a lot of drinking, um, you want to be eating a bunch of this stuff. The horses, they love it. Here's some Indian paintbrush. Isn't that beautiful? I mean, so those will come up in orange and yellows and reds. That's a beautiful flower up here, along with the bluebells and a little bit of yarrow. When you're surrounded with all these beautiful herbs, this sage, this beautiful Arnica Montana. It's hard to imagine why you'd want to go to a pharmacy and get all sorts of drugs. Mother Nature surrounded us with all these things to keep us healthy and well, and they do a pretty fine job. Well, thanks for visiting with us up here on Peaceful Mountain. It's uh, it's nice to be able to share this with you. It's especially nice to be able to share all the beautiful herbs that we get up here. Um, I can't think of any nicer place to pick the stuff that I'm going to be using for my family and for yours. Thanks for joining us.